and welcome. With this vaccine, we're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel of these 10 months that we've been through. It hasn't been fun, but we're almost there. We're almost out of this tunnel. Let me explain you a little bit how this works, because a lot of people have been asking and they have been afraid and, you know, I've been hearing a lot of things that it interacts with your DNA and many different things. Let me just, in a very simple way and very easy to understand, let me explain you how it works. And of course, using Legos, like always. Let me explain you in general how vaccines work, and then we'll move into how the COVID-19 vaccine works. In the case of the flu, for example, they inject the virus itself into eggs, they let them reproduce, then they open up the eggs, they chemically modify the virus, and then they use it. Um, sometimes, you, well, usually, if it's a nasal spray, it's a weakened type of virus. It's a live virus, but a weakened virus. In the case of the intramuscular, there's usually a dead or inactivated virus. This process takes some time, and as I said, they have to use the actual virus. In the case of the COVID-19, what they did is they started using the mRNA, the messenger ribonucleic acid. So what they did is they decoded all the 29 proteins that exist in the coronavirus. Then this particular protein, the S protein, which is the one of these spikes, uh, that's why it's called S protein because of the spikes. Now they decoded and they have the mRNA. The mRNA is basically a recipe, how to make the S protein. So what it does, they send it to the cell, the check will get it, the ribosome will get it, and develops that protein. Once the protein is developed, then the cells will see it and they will say, this protein doesn't belong here and they will start attacking. Well, they attack, they develop the antibodies. So next time that they see the real S protein with the full coronavirus, they're gonna see that that doesn't belong here and immediately will attack it, avoiding you getting sick. The issue here was that they couldn't really transport the mRNA. The mRNA is quite unstable and it degrades very quickly. So how they were going to get it to the cell? So they used nanotechnology knowledge to develop these nanobubbles where they put the mRNA and that way they could send it to the cell. The bubble bursts when it gets in contact with the cell and then immediately hence deliver the recipe to the chef, to the ribosome. So once they deliver, as I said, the chef will make it and it will then be sensed by your body, by the cells that doesn't belong there. And then your white blood cells will be developing these antibodies and basically all of them will be armed to fight the coronavirus if it gets to you. One point that we have to make clear is that this mRNA, it reacts only with the surface of the cell. It doesn't go into the nucleus. By not going into the nucleus means it's not messing up with your DNA. Another thing is they're not injecting you with the virus. They're injecting you only with one protein of the 29 proteins that make up the virus. So you're not gonna deal with the full virus when you get the vaccine. You only deal with the S protein. So there's not a chance of you getting the virus by getting the vaccine. So thank you for watching. If you like it, subscribe and share the video with others. So there could be more information about how this vaccine works. Doing it with the Legos, it's easier for everybody to understand how it works. Bye.